AI is changing the world and it's doing so at a massively rapid pace. And for this video, I decided I would put together eight of my predictions based on everything I've been reading and all of the predictions of other much smarter people out there about where our industry is going, specifically for creators like me. The first prediction is that we are going to see a lot more regulation in the next year or so over AI. And what this means for creators is still not very clear. We are likely to see a lot of changes, but actually I feel like most people are not going to get what they want from this regulation. I think a lot of people want the regulators to stop AI in its tracks and prevent it from making any more massive changes to the creative industry. And that simply isn't going to happen. All of these big tech companies are growing stronger and stronger and investing more into AI, which means that they, with their enormous legal teams, are very confident in the direction that they are going and the fact that they are likely to see little to no government oversight. However, we are already seeing various AI companies or big tech companies come together with this responsibility surrounding alignment, which is basically the process of getting the AI to do the things that we want it to do and to not go off in a direction where it is likely to kill us in the future. And these are the kind of regulatory guardrails that I think we can expect from these AI companies because these are honestly the biggest threats that AI poses in the long term. My second prediction, and it's an unfortunate prediction, is that people are going to lose their jobs. Unfortunately, with the rise of any major disruptive technology, this is what happens. From the rise of the automobile, to the rise of photography, to the rise of the internet, anytime something like this happens, somebody loses, whether it's another company, that was based in the previous way of doing things or other people who had jobs at those companies. And in today's world where so much relies on the gig economy, there are people whose livelihoods are going to be majorly affected by AI and there is simply no getting around that. However, I do believe there is hope here because in each of these instances, the new technology, the innovation ends up being a net positive for the country as a whole and for industry and business as a whole. And if you want to avoid that problem of being on the losing end of this, then you need to be the kind of person who is thinking strategically and thinking staying abreast of all of the news surrounding AI and really keeping up to date with it because it's the people like you who are interested in AI and embracing it that are going to see the most results in the future. My third prediction, and this one's really exciting even though it doesn't directly affect authors or other creatives, is the fact that we are going to be seeing huge strides in other areas of the world, including education and including healthcare. We're already seeing the amazing potential of AI in these sectors that are going to allow every child and every person to have personalized education. Imagine having a personalized AI tutor who has been trained on teaching you throughout your entire life and knows you backwards and forwards and can most effectively help you to learn anything. The implications of this for education are staggering and it's going to be really cool to see. The same is true of healthcare. Personalized healthcare is going to be a reality and at a fraction of the cost that such a thing would be right now. We're already seeing huge strides in healthcare. And while this isn't necessarily directly relevant to creators, this is the kind of thing that's going to be affecting things like healthcare insurance costs and the costs of education, both of which hugely affect our economy. AI is also the most promising solution for some of the worst problems that we are trying to grapple with right now, such as climate change and clean energy and even things like interstellar space travel. All of these industries and problems that we are facing are all going to be things that are, will be explored with AI. 
My fourth prediction, and this one is an exciting one, is that all of these mega entertainment empires that act as gatekeepers in entertainment, mostly in Hollywood, but also we see this in major game studios and other major forms of entertainment empires, are going to crumble. We've already seen this happening with the rise of self-publishing and what that has done to the traditional publishing space, where it has significantly shaken the status quo in publishing and made it so that those gatekeepers in traditional publishing are no longer necessary for you to have success in publishing. However, this has not yet happened for big Hollywood productions, for example. You still, if you want to make a big budget movie, you pretty much have to go through the proper channels with Hollywood if you have any chance of getting a movie made of your work. And getting to that point is incredibly difficult. Also, the culture and the world of Hollywood is just not kind of a slimy place when the more you look into it and the more you hear from authors who are getting adaptations made, it is not necessarily a fun process. And I believe that with AI, the costs of creating quality media is going to come down significantly to the point where a small studio of just maybe a couple dozen people will be able to pull off a feature length film that is the same high budget quality of a huge budget film in Hollywood. And what this is going to do is significantly reduce the number of gatekeepers that are in entertainment. And this is going to have a huge effect on entertainment as a whole. But speaking of entertainment, there is not all sunshine and roses as well. There is another potential aspect of entertainment that could become a big thing with the rise of AI, and that is this concept of personalized entertainment. Imagine if you could just speak to your Alexa and say, hey, Alexa, I want a story about XYZ with these three tropes, go. And with that amount of information, it could produce essentially an entire book all around those things that you wanted without any authorship from any one person whatsoever. You just give it the kind of book you want. Now, I don't believe that this is going to become a hugely wide issue because I do feel like people are going to resonate with people. And so something that has been written and authored by an actual person, I think, is still going to always have the advantage. But I could be entirely wrong about this. Imagine if someone could just say, hey, I didn't like Star Wars The Last Jedi. Can you rewrite it to be like this? And then you have an AI that could do that for you and then play that in real time for you without any outside authorship whatsoever. I think that is going to be possible within the next couple of years. And it will certainly be possible for written textbooks, but it may also be something possible with film or television. We've already seen a lot of technology get to the point where it can modify existing technology almost seamlessly. And that brings me to my next prediction, which is that the markets that we currently have are going to, to open extremely wide due to translation technologies. Now, we've already seen that this technology exists. Uh, it is not widespread yet, but there is technology that can already take, a, say, a video of you and then translate that video into other languages using your voice still. So it's still your voice, but it's speaking in a different language. And in addition to that, it, the AI can cause your mouth to move as if it was speaking that other language. So it looks like you are speaking that other language. This is going to be a huge deal for YouTubers like myself who want to expand to other languages but don't have the resources to get everything professionally translated. And not only will it be translated, but it'll actually look even better because it'll look like I'm actually speaking in that language. And this is also going to be true of authors and other creators who create content. It's going to be so much easier to enter these other languages and, and those markets because we now have access to AI technology that can do this. And so while competition is going to get even worse over time, I think it's important to remember that the market is going to get a lot bigger. So we have the potential to reach five, six, even seven times more people than we used to. 
Now for my seventh prediction. And this one is really important. And thankfully, those of you who are watching, I think, are already safe on this one. But I do believe very strongly that it is the creatives like you and like me who are embracing these AI technologies who are going to flourish the most over the next few years. Because it is always, historically, whenever a major technology comes and disrupts the entertainment industry from radio to television to the internet, it's always those people that embrace these technologies first that see the most success. And so I congratulate you for being here and just keep watching this channel because there's a lot more to come about AI and I will keep you abreast of all of it. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of it. Lastly, my final prediction for the next couple of years in the world of AI is that gener generally, I think we're going to be okay. Now, this is kind of perhaps a, a weirder prediction than the other ones I've had so far, but I really do think that while there is a lot of disruption coming, overall, the general trend and the general trajectory economically and otherwise for most people and most creators, most of you listening to this right now, is going to be positive. Certainly, there will be some people who have struggles because of AI, but I do feel like as a whole, economically speaking, this kind of change is always good for the society in which the change happens. And so, especially if you, you know, going back to my last tip, if you are embracing this technology, I really feel like we're going to be okay. Those are my eight predictions for the near future regarding AI. Let me know what you think down in the comments and if there's anything else that you see happening in the next five to 10 years, and I'll see you in the next video.